On June 18, 2023, a deep submergence vehicle, Titan, imploded at the descent to visit the wreckage of the Titanic, killing all five people on board. In this special episode, we will show you the most likely scenario of what actually happened with DSV Titan and why it imploded. Before we start, please bear in mind there's an active investigation, so some details may change as we learn even more about the order of the events. All right, let's get to the story. First, let's take a closer look at the Titan submersible, shall we? Size-wise, it was just a little bigger than the Ford F-150 truck. Construction-wise, its endoskeleton was made out of a carbon fiber cylinder that forms the center section, two titanium rings holding the cylinder, and two titanium end caps, one with a window. Everything's super thick, obviously. Operation-wise, the Titan was a baby of Stockton Rush and Ocean Gate Company, where Stockton was the CEO. He was also the pilot and commander. Several things about Titan were gimmicky. For example, a PlayStation-like controller to maneuver and operate the submersible. The carbon fiber cylindrical-shaped hull also raised the expert's eyebrows. Why? Here's the short answer. As far as material, carbon fiber is very durable and lightweight, but compared to titanium, which has been standard for the submersibles of this class, there's just not enough research-backed data about its limits. How far can you push it till it breaks? What should be the standard service interval? Many thought that carbon fiber was a gamble. As far as shape, usually, deep submergence vehicles have a sphere-shaped crew compartment, which helps spread the water pressure evenly across the hull. On the other hand, Stockton went for the cylinder-shaped hull since he needed more passenger space. With the suboptimal shape, the overall strength of the construction decreased. All right, but we know that on board the Titan, Stockton had already made at least 10 successful tourist expeditions to the wreckage of the Titanic. So he must have done something right. The key questions are, what exactly went wrong on June 18th, 2023, and why? We'll address the question of what happened first. Here's the order of events. At 9.30 a.m., the Titan submersible takes off from its base platform to the Titanic shipwreck site, 12,500 feet below the ocean's surface. The deeper it goes, the darker and colder it gets, and the more pressure the vessel is experiencing. At sea level, the air presses at all objects at around 15 pounds per square inch. This is called one atmosphere. For every 33 feet you go down the ocean, the pressure increases by one atmosphere. Around the Titanic crash site, it's 375 atmospheres. In other words, every square inch of any object around the Titanic experiences 5,500 pounds of pressure. But so far, so good. The Titan is slowly submerging. At around 11.15 a.m., when they've reached the depth of 11,500 feet, something happens. We don't know what exactly, but Stockton decides to abort the dive. He drops the ballast and sends the Titan back to the surface. We're waiting for the investigation to confirm this, but the most plausible scenario is that they heard the cracking sound. It was the carbon fiber hole failing under pressure. Seconds later, the vessel implodes. In slow motion, you see how the hole moves inward and Titan gets torn into pieces. In reality, the complete collapse took a thousandth of a second. All five passengers died instantly. This is very sad, but let's address the why question using the latest information. So why did it happen? Why now? What was different? Well, nothing was likely different. Experts believe that the implosion's root cause is carbon fiber fatigue and progressive damage. Bending a fork repeatedly reduces its stiffness. Similarly, the hull of the Titan was losing its stiffness each time the Titan submerged to observe the Titanic wreckage and resurfaced. The tiniest little cracks forming along the carbon fiber hull were undetectable with Ocean Gate's equipment for post-expedition inspection. During descent, one of these cracks became a weak point, leading to the implosion. We'll closely follow the official investigation's conclusions and release part two of this video when more information becomes available. For now, this is the most likely order of events of the catastrophic implosion of the Titan submersible. This is likely how it was.
Alright, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss new episodes.